you know, Iowa has a heck of a ball club. Um, you know, that was a an amazing college baseball game. Uh, certainly unfortunate that somebody had to lose the game, but um, just really extremely proud of our ball club in this early part of the season. You know, this the first two, three, four weeks or so, you know, certainly you do everything you can to win every game, but you're trying to figure out your way with your team, you know, what you're going to do pitching wise, what are the right things to do lineup wise. And, and um, you know, if you can win ball games while you're doing that and figuring out what uh, makes this team special, um, that's an added bonus. And certainly tonight was, was one of those, you know, we fell down six to nothing against a great pitcher and we just really showed the type of offensive ball club that we have. We didn't um, give many at bats away and fortunately we were able to uh, you know chase their starter out of the game and get to their bullpen and uh, you know for me certainly we had guys like Casey and Henry Godbout and Henry Ford had a couple of big knocks. Uh, certain guys in the lineup did some really nice things, but um, Jay Wolfolk was the uh, story for me. You know, uh, Iowa had a great approach against Jack O'Connor. I think they might have had six or seven extra base hits off of him in three innings, and that was impressive. And, you know, Jay didn't have a great start last weekend. I, um, coming into this weekend from a pitching standpoint, uh, you know, I made the decision to treat it like a regional because I felt like that's what it was and it was a great opportunity for our team to experience a kind of regional format, right? And the caliber of the teams that are here this weekend are like an NCAA regional. And so, you know, I decided that um, to put Jay Wolfolk in the bullpen and if we had an opportunity to use him where I thought we could win a game, we would do that and then figure out who would start on Sunday when we got there. And um, I'm just really proud of Jay. That's, uh, that's as good as he has pitched in our uniform. Uh, certainly in his first two years, he pitched in short stints uh, in the latter part of the ball game in inning or two tops. And for him to go out there, and I just thought he was in complete command of the game, gave us a chance to come back and mount a comeback to uh, to have a chance to win it. And then certainly the big inning in the ninth inning where uh, we were opportunistic and then Henry Ford with a two RBI hit to kind of extend it a little bit was, uh, was big. Building on that, uh, Coach, I was going to ask you, if, if there's something about Jay that not only as he worked through their lineup, not only was he having the results and the success, but also the way he kind of carries himself kind of turns the temperature down yeah. a little bit in the game. Um, is there something about him that brings that element as well as just the effectiveness? Well, I didn't know for sure just because, you know, he's he's made one start in our uniform, and that was last last weekend and then primarily it's been in short stints so I didn't know for sure you know what we would get but I I know the kind of competitor he is and I know how disappointed he was on how he pitched last weekend and you know I just felt like when we mounted that comeback that we needed a change and sometimes when that happens and that guy goes out there and commands the game um, it, it really ch changes the tempo and I'll, I'll tell you I I have not seen him in his two plus years with us pitch with the poise and the calmness that he did tonight that was really exciting for our ball club because we need that certainly he has really good stuff uh, we needed him to go out there and pitch with poise and it was, it was delightful watching him pitch tonight. I, I like, I, I really enjoyed being in the dugout watching him execute his pitches, and you know that's what we need to find out is who are those guys we can count on. And he took a big step forward today for sure. Do you, do you think his poise under pressure is, is some some something that's carried over from like football or is that quarterback mentality? Could be sure. I mean, you you know when you're under center in major college football, um, you have a lot of things going on, right? Um, and so 
maybe his experiences that he's had in a football uniform uh, helps him, and I believe that it that it does. And and so I think there's a correlation there. Um, but what's going to be important for Jay is and for our team is that he continues to build on what he did tonight. And certainly he's been in in big environments. You know, he started his freshman year at quarterback against Notre Dame. You know, and you do that, you've um, you've been in a tough situation. So uh, really proud of him. Casey, uh, Coach alluded to it a little bit, but just the, the lineup you guys have allowing you to, to make the comeback we do. I asked Henry this question yesterday, but same thing to you. What do you think it is about this lineup that allows you guys to succeed on that level and make a comeback like you did today? Yeah, um, that's a great point. I think that our lineup, one through nine, um, just has a lot of depth. We have so many position players that are very talented. And, you know, it, it kind of showed tonight, you know, we have guys that can step into the game and do very important things like Bobby Whalen coming in and getting that clutch hit. Um, being able to score or run that inning. Uh, it was late in the ball game. I forget which inning, but, um, you know, it's, it's clutch things like that and, and our super um, talented and uh, deep lineup that we have. Um, that's how we were able to come back tonight. Speaking of a lineup, um, it feels like Tony kind of embodies the entire mentality. I mean, he walked four times a day. He drove in two runs without getting hit. Talked. I mean, a year ago he's a he's a seldom used role player. Now he's the number two player, uh, you know, on the team. So just talk a little about what he means to the team and kind of that unsung role a little bit. Well, you, you know, um, it, it's a tough, competitive, unselfish approach. You know, um, I, I like him in that two spot because he gives you a high quality at bat at a high percentage of the time. And again, like I talked about here last night, he understands who he is as a player and stays within that. And, you know, that was huge tonight for him to draw four walks. And you can see when he does how excited he is and looks back to the dugout. Um, he's, again, he's another guy that's got great poise, stays within himself self and understands who he is as a player. Now listen, he's gonna he's gonna hit some doubles and he's gonna hit a ball some balls out of the ballpark and uh, be a really good RBI producer because he was for us last year. But Anthony Stefan has earned it, right? And he didn't get opportunities his freshman year. He went this summer. He went to the Northwoods League and learned how to play left field and has become a viable left fielder and has made a difference uh, in our ball club because of his commitment to be the best he can be. Casey, take us through those, those clutch hits late in the game. There are two very different arms, two good arms, Watson and Volker, different looks. Um, with each of those at-bats, what, what were you looking for and how did you go into those at-bats? Yeah, um, you know, the, uh, the at-bat that I hit the home run, um, you know, I was, I was fortunate I, I got to a, a plus count um, took some good pitches. Uh, he threw a strike that was, you know, I thought it was a little bit up, but, you know, a 3-1 count, and um, he threw a fastball, and, and I did what I should have done with it. Uh, I did damage. Um, you know, the next at-bat, uh, next time at the plate, I think it was, what was it, bases loaded maybe? Or um, I think there was one guy in scoring position. Um, and the at-bat ended up getting to two strikes, and you know that's what we practice all the time. Uh, I feel comfortable in that situation. It's it's um, you know it's it's kind of second nature for me. Um, and you know hitting with two strikes, I was able to see the fastball, and it's kind of just me versus ball mentality, and um, get it through the infield, put it on the barrel, and and did my job. You swung it really well early this season. Do you feel like there's something behind that? I mean, how comfortable are you right now to play? I feel great right now. Uh, it's baseball. I don't know what it is, but. Um, you know, when you feel good, you just you ride it out. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, Jack. Jack O'Connor is much better than he pitched tonight. I, I'll, I'll say this, that's a credit to Iowa. They came out and attacked him, 
right? And um, their approach against him was outstanding, as good of an approach that I've seen against him in Jack's young career. Um, so, you know, Jack will Jack will bounce back, and you know he pitched 65 innings for us last year as a true freshman and pitched in our rotation all year. They had a great approach against him, but he, other than the two hit by pitches, uh, and he might have had three, um, you know, he, he threw strikes, right? And so, and Jay did as well. I know Jay had two, two tough walks, but, um, you know, that, that's a big part of the game, right? We didn't, I didn't feel like we gave them the game at all. They earned everything they've gotten. And, um, you know, we, we, we talked to our pitchers a lot about that, that, you know, make them earn it, right? And it's those walks that mount up that are going to end out costing you, you know. I mean, Wichita State dealt with that this afternoon, right? And so um, if you keep pounding the strike zone and trust your stuff and it's good enough, good things are going to come your way. Yeah, um, you have any idea who's starting tomorrow? Yeah, Owen Cody, a left-handed pitcher, transfer from, from Penn, will start tomorrow against Auburn.